Hi, I'm Jude Rich, president of Blue Marlin Publications. Thank you all for coming out to join us today. This is a very special event. Today is the book launch party for the teacher who would not retire, retires. The sixth and final book in the Teacher Who Would Not Retire series. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the show. In 1997, I received a voicemail from a potential illustrator. He said his name was Tom Monet. Imagine how excited I was to have Monet's namesake work on one of our projects. When I finally met Tom, I realized his name was Bonet and not Monet. Coincidence? I think not. We hired Tom, and he's been the genius who's brought Pee Wee Pipes, Anna Claire, and Mrs. Bell to life. I'm Anna Rich. I grew up with Mrs. Bell in the publishing business. I remember running into the basement all excited to pack books with my mom for like $2 an hour. It was my first real allowance. For over 15 years, Mrs. Bell and the Teacher Who Would Not Retire series has been a part of our life, and it's been a family affair, with everybody pitching in to help out at all of the various events. But Mrs. Bell just couldn't stay away from the children. And so, for the second book, Mrs. Bell packed her bags and headed off to camp with all of the children. She got into her usual trouble, though, unfortunately, but had a lot of fun with the kids. When the third book came out, it was off to outer space, and Mrs. Bell had discovered a new planet. It was big news throughout all of Laurelville, and of course, we had to do our research. So we went to NASA and checked in with the astronauts. We even got a good shot of the space shuttle. the fourth book came out, Mrs. Bell's popularity had rose tremendously. She became a movie star. The mayor came and met her, told her all about the exciting things to come. She was even on the news.
In book five, it would seem that Mrs. Bell's luck ran out. While doing some wash, all of a sudden, her slippers disappeared. She had no idea where they were. And a search started. They looked everywhere, all throughout the four zones of Laurelville, but they could not find the slippers. The phones were ringing off the hook with sightings. People looked everywhere, but finally the slippers were found. Kitty Bell had had her babies, and they were using the slippers. I think we'll all agree that Mrs. Bell has been very busy throughout her career, but now it's time for her to retire, sit back, and relax. The folks from Laurelville send her on a cruise, and she has a lot of fun while she's on the cruise, but she comes back very tired and starts her retirement. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the show.